Is your holster uncomfortable? Is it set up so that you can't carry or conceal? Do you have pronouns in your bio? When you get your holster, typically what you do is you put your gun in the holster, you stick it in your waistband, and wear it as it is set up from the factory. Then if the holster is adjustable, we try to make small adjustments, and we spend hours, days, or weeks making adjustments. But in the end, this just wastes a bunch of time, and you never find a comfortable and concealable fit. Today we're gonna show you a method that uses a pencil. This pencil method is going to allow you to fit the holster for maximum comfort and maximum concealment in a fraction of the time. The pencil method will work for your inside the waistband holster and your appendix carry inside the waistband holster. To start off, what you wanna do is wear your normal clothes. You wanna wear your normal pants, your normal shirt, your normal belt, so that you can test your holster in the, under the right circumstances. And once you have your clothing set up correctly, then it's time to move on and work on the holster. You want to remove any attachments or accessories from the holster. This is key to finding the way in which the holster naturally rides on the body to be the most comfortable and concealable. You'll want to use an unloaded gun, so go ahead and remove your magazine, clear your chamber, and make sure it's unloaded. Once you have that set up, go ahead and stick the holstered gun in your waistband in the spot that you think is going to be the most comfortable and concealable. Then wear it around the house, walk, sit, move, do some squats to see what is most comfortable and most concealable. Private, go! Quickly! Get your fat ass over there, Private Pile! Oh, that's right, Private Pile! Don't make any fucking effort to get up to the top of the fucking obstacle! If you don't like the way it rides, if you don't like the comfort, you don't like the concealment, move the gun up and down in your waistline and then move it clockwise or counterclockwise on the belt line. Continue to make subtle movement changes and then try different positions of standing, walking, sitting, squatting until you find the most comfortable and concealable spot. Once you find the optimal spot with just the gun and holster, you can try adding different concealment accessories like a camming bar or a wing or a body contour or wedge. A camming bar or wing is an attachment to the holster that sits along the belt line and when the belt is tightened against it, the grip of the gun cams or rotates into the body aiding in concealment. A camming bar or a wing is a concealment feature and is less of a comfort feature. A body contour or a wedge is both a concealment feature and can also be a comfort feature. It's a feature that goes between your body and the muzzle end of the holster. It aids in concealment by pushing the muzzle away from the body, which then rotates the top of the grip and the tang into your body, aiding in concealment. Depending on the the design of it, the shape, the size, and the material, it can also significantly aid with comfort. So without adding the belt attachments, go ahead and try different camming bar sizes or wedge sizes and moving the wedge or body contour around on the muzzle of the holster to find the optimal spot for comfort and concealment. Each time you make an adjustment to a concealment feature, you wanna make sure you test it the same way you tested the holster before. You want to squat, sit, walk, move around, you wanna do all the things you would normally do throughout your day. Once you have found the optimal setup of concealment features, comfort features, and location, this is where the pencil comes in. I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. You're gonna take a pencil and you're going to mark on your holster right at the belt line. Basically tracing a line that shows where the top of your clip should sit. Or for a top mounted holster, where the top of the belt is. You don't want to just mark the belt line, you also want to mark any pant loops with a vertical line. Because the pant loops can interfere with a clip or other attachment, you want to know the location on the holster. Once you have those lines marked, go ahead and remove the gun and the holster from your waistline. Then get your belt attachments, whether they're clips or loops. Take your attachments and line them up so that they are not interfering with the belt loop. And they are lined up so that the top edge of the waistline pencil mark is even with the top of the belt clip. If you have interference with your belt loop, a solution is to go with a single clip if your holster has two clips. Carry with a clip that doesn't interfere with the belt loop. The disadvantage of one clip is that the gun is not as stable in the belt line. You may have some rocking or canting that occurs because you're only using one clip. Then go ahead and attach the clips to the holster. Once you have attached your clips, go ahead and put the holstered gun back into your waistline 
to confirm that it is actually sitting in the optimal location for comfort and concealment. A requirement for this process is that you actually have a holster that allows you to adjust it where you need it. If you have a holster that has attachments that don't adjust enough, then they won't allow you to get to the ideal comfort and concealment spot. So your options are wear the holster as it is in the not comfortable, not concealable spot, or get rid of the holster and get a better holster. And that's how you set up your holster for the best comfort and best concealment. If you're still struggling to get it right, you may be making some of the common concealed carry mistakes that we talked about here. Here, here, here. Now open up your bio, select edit, and then delete, 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 delete. Problem solved. That's the final step of holster. That's the final step of holster comfort.